what to expect on the first day of clinical. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't already know me, my name is Mercy. I'm a BSN RN. And on this channel, I talk about nursing, beauty, lifestyle, fitness, health, and all of that good stuff. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join the family. Also, don't forget to hit the notification button so it can tell you every time I upload a new video. That way you won't ever miss a new video from me. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So today's video is going to be another nursing topic. Yay, we love nursing topics. I swear you guys love my nursing videos. Any other video I post is like, okay. What are you doing here? But guys, you gotta get to know other sides of me. I like hair, I like makeup, I like health. I like all that kind of stuff. So you guys need to like it as well. <laughs> okay, you don't have to like it, but come on, show a girl some love. I'm trying here. But anyways, today's nursing video is brought to you by one of my viewers. She's a new nursing student and she's getting ready to start clinicals. So she wanted me to tell her a little bit more about what to expect on the first day of clinical. But instead of me talking about just the first day of clinical, I can tell you about what to expect when it comes to your first clinical in general. Regardless of if you're doing LPN or your BSN, your first nursing clinical is usually something very chilled, for lack of better words. Those clinicals take place at a skilled nursing facility or an assistant living, somewhere where the patients are stable, the most stable patients. Because your clinicals have to match with what you're learning. And your first semester or first session or quarter of nursing school is the basics. You're learning your basic stuff head to toe assessments, how to do vital signs, how to feed patients. So that is what they are going to expose you to. You're not gonna start your first clinical in the ICU or NICU or like, I don't know, OB, pediatrics, no. Because you have to learn about those subjects first. When I did my LPN, what I did for my first few clinicals was go to a nursing home with my fellow classmates, of course. But we went to a nursing home and we, the first day, we literally sat around and did a scavenger hunt. It was a good experience, but basically the point I'm trying to make here is your first clinical is going to be with stable patient, usually geriatric patients, just because that's what you're learning at this moment. You're not deep into your nursing program and you don't know a lot of the disease processes and all the other stuff that goes with nursing. This is a very beginning stage. So just to get your feet wet and to get you used to interacting with patients, they'll put you in those settings. And the higher up you go, the more specific your clinicals will get. When you start to learn about PEDS, you'll go to a children's hospital and you know work with kids and learn about kids there. If you're learning about OB in class, you'll go to a mother delivery. Or if you're learning about death and dying critical care, unit or if you're learning about leadership you work with a nurse manager whatever you're learning in class they try to match that with your clinical experience so you can see it on paper and then see it in the real world the only other advice i can give about clinical and nursing school is first of all when you get assigned to a clinical site make sure you drive there the night before because if you're anything like me honey you're gonna get lost so Make sure you drive there the night before. If it's an hour or two hours away, then no. But make sure you study the map, make sure you pull it up on your GPS and make sure you know where you're going. But if it's a few minutes away, drive there the night before. Make sure you know exactly where the building is so you're not late because clinical instructors are very strict when it comes to clinical. They don't want you to be late, which makes sense because when you become a nurse, they don't want you showing up to work late when you have patients assigned to you and the other nurses have been there for 12 hours and they want to go home and here you are showing up 15 20 minutes late and they have to wait for you to give your report that's not professional they try to teach you early how to behave as a nursing professional make sure you get to your clinical site early not on time early make sure you get there maybe 10 15 minutes early so you can know where you're supposed to be be there so you're not in a rush looking all discombobulated. Set up your outfit the night before. Make sure your uniform is clean and it's pressed. Please do not match your uniform with your makeup. When you go to clinical, you wanna look as neat as possible. And if you're wearing any makeup, the goal is to make it look like you're not wearing makeup. 
don't go matching your blue eye shadow with your blue makeup you are going to look crazy and if your clinical instructor is strict they're going to send you home i would send you home too if you were a patient would you want a nurse walking into your room with green eyeshadow everywhere on her face and pink blush and big hoop earrings and a wrinkled up uniform with spots all over it and a dirty shoes no i don't care how smart that nurse is i don't care how intelligent or how much experience he or she has you're not going to respect them because you're going to think if they treat themselves like that that's how they're going to treat me if you have a really i don't know funky hippie hip-hop whatever style leave that out of school or leave that out of the hospital when you go home you can go back to doing that but please try to make yourself look as neat as possible when you go to clinical so you want to have a nursing bag and if you're a guy still have a nursing bag because you need a bag to put your stuff in right unless you have really big pockets you want to have a stethoscope pen light paper pen make sure it's black ink something to write on like a paper or a notebook a clipboard comes in really handy because you can keep some paperwork on there and you can keep a spare sheet of paper to write stuff on someone's calling me always when i'm trying to shoot a pair of scissor um your id make sure you don't forget your school id some professors will send you home if you don't have your id because they want to know who you are you can't just walk into a patient's room and start taking care of them and you don't have an ID and they don't know who you are so this is the reason it's very important to get set up the night before this doesn't really relate to your first day of clinical but maybe the second third day of clinical depending on where you are you might pass meds so if you are passing meds usually the professor will tell you what meds you're going to be passing before so please go home and study those meds make a little note card or a net card write the medication in the front and write the signs and symptoms and what it treats and what to expect the dosage and everything write it on the back and quiz yourself the night before clinical because some professor again will ask you before you give a med to a patient they want to know if you know what the medication is and what it's used for because you don't want to give a medication to the patient that you know nothing about they want to know that you have a basic idea of what the medication is what it treats and what signs and symptoms to expect because sometimes the patients too will ask you you go in there to little old miss mary and say hi miss mary my name is mercy i'm going to be your nurse today here is your medication and she's going to say what is that and you're going to say uh i don't know let me get my professor no that's going to make you lose your credibility just to recap don't worry about your clinical sites especially your first clinical sites because the schools do a great job assigning you to what's appropriate to what you're learning if you're in peds you're going to be assigned to a peds unit if you're just starting out you're going to go to to more of a extended care living where the patients are more stable you want to make sure you're neat you're prepared and you're on time so that is it for this video guys I hope this video was helpful to you guys and I hope this answer your questions if you have any other questions for me please don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have started nursing school if you have started your first clinical I'd like to know what your experiences are so please share them with me down in the comment section below and I wish you all the luck in nursing school thank you so much for watching my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one